This Lion fan base have been craving home playoff football since this building opened in 2002, and they've got it today at Ford Field in Detroit. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions. To kick off. One of two spots in the NFC title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. timeout call they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter a penalty here for a delay no they're going to say timeout they did get the timeout in time and that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter they're down to one remaining so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10 41 yard line. Now they'll run it on the toss. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. He's a good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Brings up second and they run the counter. Mobley. And he gets stopped up at the 41 after a gain of maybe a yard. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Give him the third down conversion. 
reception, five First yards on the play. 27-yard line. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Down inside the 15, shot of the 10. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw at practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Inside the 10 for a pickup of the back three. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. He'll take it from the Another 10 down to the five-yard line. That was a really nice job by line. them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice two. run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked in terms of the side. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up the first and goal. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. Try to run this one in. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Or might he go for it? So it's third and goal, and now the question, can this Falcon defense stand tall once more? They'll try to run this one in. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Brings up fourth and goal. Try and run for it. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. Second and six. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense could go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves.
second and six. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Third down, he'll drop the throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Nowhere to go that time. He might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Tackled at the 25. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On second down now, Fulton. He'll have a first down past the four. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions 28. A big time play there for the Falcons. 47 yards. 47 yards. And the Falcon first down. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. He showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. carry for their fullback and he'll take it into the end zone touchdown Atlanta. a 15-yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board first here tonight and when they called that play I'm not sure they expected it to go all the way to the end zone nice little reward though Without a doubt, and sometimes I think the offensive line gets a little bit more inspiration when they know that guy's going to get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. They want to reward him for all that good blocking he does as well. Tucker McCann. McCann's got it teed up. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you guys, last time. But you didn't this the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a toss left side into the hands of his. 
this tight end. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Third and six. He gets this one away. Pulling it at the 24. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock here? Yeah. Off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Falcons. A big play there. 65 yards. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes the score Falcons 14, Lions nothing. Tucker McCann's got it teed up. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass that allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Accepted. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because uh, they were ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Give this is their fullback. 
It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. And that's why the fullback position was created. You just want a big, strong, powerful guy you can hand the ball to and pick up good yardage. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. six-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive but at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Go back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here. run good for nine here's second and a yard now a give right side Mobley pass the 20 and he will reach the eight yard line before going out almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39 they were not fooling around at all were they second and short and they brought out that heavy package Almost like the super heavy package gets that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. He'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. The quick slant caught. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. to do next. Can 
this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and now consider the lead the question is how much is good enough are you going for more it's the NFL there's never enough I believe because they get reeled in all the time when you sit on the ball I think that they will try and move the ball downfield try and squeeze a few more points out of this first half they'll be careful they'll be a little bit cautious at times but also they will attack downfield and try and get in position for at least three points the last run got a couple here second and eight and he'll give it here to his running back and right around the 20 he'll head out of bounds it's a pickup of 17 and a first down Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? McCann's got it teed up. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality of this goal? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When you need you, you got to be ready to go. The team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Uh, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About 
set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire half time just working with them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. offense it has not worked to this point yeah I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working they are really locked in on offense And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. keeping this one close. They've done more than keep this one close. Yeah, they've made quite a statement, haven't they? And the I don't know if it was the week off that hurt this defense, score, but they've been flat from the get-go, and that's nothing. always a coach's fear. Okay, you earn Tucker the open McGee. week, Set but you wonder how they'll respond with that extra time off. Yeah, it seems like they've been running uphill all game. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because 
some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Throwing deep for Galladay. This one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. He'll drop to throw. Time to catch our breath. Here's first and ten just outside the red zone. They're going to look to throw. perspective anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback you're in a position to make a play on the ball whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback you have a much better opportunity they'll run on first down Fulton he's got the lead and there he goes 20 10 touchdown Falcons a great effort there an 80-yard touchdown. And this offense is running away with this one. For the extra point. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. 25 yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field. Certainly not what they were. Did a marvel. That is so. And he'll take it across midfield and down the 48 yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. So, first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. to throw. Heavy rush and down he goes. Well, they go quite fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> so that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. First down, Falcons. Now this time he'll look to throw. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody opened. Now second down. 
should be the final play before the quarter ends. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. This is third and nine. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And for the fourth time in the lead, it's an interception. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Taken in the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. ready to kick off their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. 
After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. That catch good for only a couple. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays harder to move it. there and gosh you look up at the scoreboard they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough it certainly can't and also what happens when you get this big of a deficit you're supposed to make all the right throws right you're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys but being down this big you also take even more chances and in this situation that hasn't paid off for them at all on the other sideline jubilation and laughter they continue to wear down this defense. And that's when the offensive line coach clicks onto the headset and says, head coach, offense coordinator, let my guys fire out and hit people. We're wearing them down. Let's finish them off with the running game. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. one as they're backed up five for first and goal and they take a knee he kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so bringing up second down and a bit farther so they're backed up to the three yard line second and goal and they will take a knee here that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? And they'll indeed take a knee. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Kick up and good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So not sure how they feel about that. They had golden field position to start the drive after the fumble recovery when they went backward and then got three. Well, let's go from gold to silver because the silver lining is they got the three, right? You're talking about the golden field position. They didn't take advantage of it. That has to feel like a letdown. You always stand ready to pounce. <laughs> always. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Now a give right side. Mobley, he's got a first down past the 30. And he's going to be out some open running lanes and he's taking advantage of it right now but that shouldn't be a surprise defense has the lead they're playing for the pass first the big play to start him out has him at the 45 already they'll keep it on the ground Mobley. and a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47 yard line the tackle up from the 
his linebacker spot. Deion Jones making the play. It's second and eight. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's second and eight. Tackles made at the Falcons 43. At the 40 a nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Send out the field goal unit here. This from 54 yards away. And the kick is good. So they avoid the shutout. But still a tougher to swallow here. They only post three points. And this game is over. The Falcons are moving on. Congratulations to them. Thanks for watching. And so long, everybody. That's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Detroit.